previously during the investigation. Okay then, Zack. Let's pay Harry another visit and get to the bottom of all this. And that one. And that one too. All red seats. Welcome, York. The killings 50 years ago. There is something about it that you won't find written in those files. The people were attacking and killing each other. Rampaging as though insane. Quite a story. York, I told you. It's nothing more than local folklore. What does that all mean? It's called the legend of the new raincoat killer. York, we found Thomas. Zack. Okay, so it's not bonus footage. It's still part of the main feature. Perpetrator is exactly who I thought it was. Dad? Dad? Come on, boy, or it'll be too late. 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 Daddy?
You are waiting here for someone, aren't you? The person you are waiting for will be here soon. Sorry, my dear, I must have fallen asleep. That's enough napping for today. Tell me the rest of the story. Yes, of, of course. That was our promise, wasn't it? Before I continue on, though, I've got a little gift I want to give you. Wow. It's pretty. Consider it a protective charm. Like a signpost. It will help to lead you through your life. A signpost? One day, my dear, you will find out one of the truths of this world. That the world is filled with contradiction and inequality. When that day comes, how you respond, what you do, that will be the instant that determines the value of your life. Pendant show you the way in that moment. The value of my life? Yes, dear. The value of your life. I have faith that you will grow up into a woman who can make the right choices. Do you understand, Emily? We come toward the climax. As the angel said, I was soon fated to meet him. What do you think of those dreams, Zack? So I do care for Emily. What about you? We should take this opportunity and talk about this a bit. If I hadn't seen your come into the bar, well, you wouldn't have found this place, would you? Now, how about that? I guess I've always been lucky when luck was needed. That's why I've been able to stay in business, too. Although we have Willie to thank for finding this room, I suppose. He's got a great nose. Clever, too. He'd be a great businessman if he wanted to be. I owed you guys one anyway. And I owed York big time, too. You guys didn't tell anyone about that whole thing with Diane. I want to help you guys out. Is there anything I can do? Jason, I appreciate the offer. But this is a police matter. You can leave everything to us from here. Oh, well, okay. George, look. These cigarettes. They're the same brand that York smokes. He's definitely been here. Carol's been missing since the bar closed last night. This town will be deserted if this keeps up. What do you think is really happening here in Greenvale? Emily, let's focus on looking for York. I just hope there are more leads than a cigarette butt around here. Of course! You can track his scent, can't you, boy? What do you think, officers? Let him help you out, why don't you? Oh, he'd make a fine police dog. I told you we don't need... This sounds good, Kaysen. We need all the help we can get. Come on, George. Let's let them help us. But they are civilians. Do you have a better plan? As we speak, York might be... <sighs> Oh, all 
right. Let's have them help. Thank you, George. But one thing. With York missing in action, I'm back in charge. And York would give me hell if something bad happened to you guys. So promise me you'll call for backup at the first sign of danger. Yes, of course. I think we're missing something here. So I'm going to look around a bit longer. You go with Kaysen and follow York's trail. Thank you, George. We're counting on you, boy. Welcome to the force, Deputy Willie. <laughs> Let's get rolling, then. Okay. I'm counting on you, Willie. Oh, not counting on me, though, are you? Sheesh. He can be a little selfish, but he's a good dog. He stayed with me all this time, through all the good and the bad. How long have you been together? Oh, we go back a long time. I can't even remember a time when he wasn't around. I had a dog when I was small, too. He was a beagle, so we named him B. <laughs> Stupid name, I know. He hated being left alone and always followed me around. I could tell him anything, even things I couldn't tell my parents. He'd look into my eyes and listen intently to anything I had to say. It's like he sympathized, and he didn't make fun of me. He would just listen. When I was done talking, he'd put a paw on my thigh. My worries just faded away when he did that. It made me feel like I was just a fool for worrying so much. Dogs are great that way. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I think they got a lot more wisdom than us humans. Even if they are betrayed, well, they don't see it that way. Sure sounds foolish, but you know dogs, why they're always happy. I'm positive that even if man perishes off the face of the earth, dogs, why they'll just carry on regardless. They see everything, you know. From their dog houses, they look out and they see what humans do. Kaysen. Oh, look! Deputy Willie's calling for us. He's always like that. Let's get back to the chase.
Thomas, I know that you're there. Your disposition is not of my concern. But you do need to stop this. Untie me. Let me go. Right now. And you and Carol should take off. Go as far away as you can. Open a bar or a diner in a new town. With your cooking, I know you do well. Why, thank you, York. You're so kind. Unlike him. If I had someone like you, things may not have come to this. York, have you ever been in love with someone? Thomas, a long time ago, I witnessed two people that I really cared about die. Both pretty much at the same time. And since then, I've tried not to care about anyone so deeply. But recently, that way of thinking has changed. Emily, right? She's a nice girl. But I must warn you, York. You'd be better off not falling in love with her. Thomas, considering the circumstances, whatever I say might not be important to you, but I'll say it anyways. Don't you dare touch Emily. York, I think I've said too much. It's natural to respond when someone talks to you, I guess. Everything will end tonight. You just stay there until then. Mm -hmm.